Hi, I'm Julie Weber of Liberate Ministries, and today's topic is called Abortion's Physical Aspects. You've heard me say that having an abortion is emotional, mental, spiritual. Well, can it also be physical? Absolutely. Well, let's look at some physical aspects of abortion. Some physical aspects would be getting pregnant, the pregnancy itself, dealing with the choice and forced scenarios. We'll quote it from my Lady Liberty workbook on page pages 24 through 26. Getting pregnant. There's a common saying that our choices define us. We are making choices each day of our lives. The choices as well as their consequences become part of a record of our lives. For some of us who are not happy with the choices that we have made in life, this is a hard truth to take. You might think if my choices and their consequences have become a record of my life, where is the hope? We cannot go back and undo them. They are a permanent part of our past. We can, however, learn from our past choices by not repeating them and making better choices in the future. We can also take responsibility for our past choices and recognize how they affected us personally and also affected others around us. The pregnancy itself. Abortion disrupts the reproductive process by cutting off the natural method of creating new life ordained by God since the beginning of time. Even though it takes two to make a baby, it is the woman who has to undergo all the natural changes to her, her, her human body. When the natural process of new life is cut off, it causes an unnatural reaction to the human body. So whether you had a surgical or a chemical pill, abortion, a trauma, an unnatural act, has happened and a time of healing needs to take place. Time, rest, and proper nutrition are needed to repair a woman's body from the physical damage done by the surgical procedure or by the drugs causing the body to expel the baby from the womb. In both abortion methods, Life is removed from the body quickly to terminate the pregnancy. However, the body doesn't adjust itself so quickly. From the moment of conception, a woman's hormones have been gearing up to support the pregnancy and give birth. Time is needed for these hormones to adjust back to normal after the abortion. Equally important, healing is needed to repair the damage done to the woman's spirit as a result of the abortion experience and the circumstances surrounding the abortion. Dealing with the choice. Okay, so why do I have to deal with the choice? This is unfair. You are right. <laughs> hey, but remember, you are the one who actually went through the surgical or the chemical pill procedure. And you are the one who has to deal with the consequences of the sin, even though it might not have been of your choosing. Your body, mind, and soul were affected. You are the one who has to embrace the healing process. No one else can do it for you. If you made 
the decision with another person, such as your spouse, you both should go through healing process together. Forced scenarios. The abortion might have been of your choosing, or maybe you didn't feel you had a choice. There are many forced scenarios that women face every day in our global world. Forced scenarios come in all forms of highly pressured situations. Rape, incest, one night stands, boyfriends, spouses, parental family pressures. Different countries and societies had their own political systems of governing the human race. All women's bodies are different. Some women go through these abortion procedures without complications and no lasting physical scarring. And then there are some women who go, have, have gone through these abortion procedures and had complications. And depending on the combination of the medical help received at the time of their abortions and the conditions of the woman's health determines the outcome if they have permanent physical change to their bodies. Deuteronomy 30.19 says, I call heaven and earth to witness this day against you that I have set before you life and death the blessings and the curses. Therefore, choose life, that you and your descendants may live. You know, reading this verse and looking back now, it all seems so simple. I should have chosen life, and my child would have lived. We would all do things differently if we could go back in time to the decision point to start over. Knowing what we know now, things were not as clear back then as they are today, though. Whatever the reason you endured the abortion, whether by your choice or unfairly, going forward and working through the healing process chooses life from here on out and cuts the curses of death off your life. I'd like to pray with you. Dear God, thanks so much for teaching us things from your word. And I just pray, Lord, that um, you would help everyone to process this in a very healthy way. And that you would lead them to the next steps that you have in life for them regarding this topic. Amen. Thanks for watching. Live life liberated.